Hi, welcome to Lana Ziovillos. My name is Alba and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this kimono for babies. We start knitting on the top part and continue knitting to the sleeves and the body all together and then only the body to the bottom part. We have to cast on 44 stitches. You can use the way to cast on that you prefer. We have to cast on 44 stitches. This number of stitches is for a 6 months old baby. You can find pattern for other sizes in our website. In this case I made a little sample to show you how to make this piece. In the first row we have to knit all the stitches. We have to work the knit stitch in all the stitches. On the row number 2 we are going to work also the knit a stitch. We have to take in this case now the edge stitch and knit all the stitches of this row. And we are going to purl the last stitch of all the rows. Now we are going to start with the increases. We have to take the edge stitch yarn over, knit one. We have to place a marker on this knit one stitch because this is the, the stitch of the center of the ramblan. Yarn over again, knit 12 knit 12 stitches yarn over knit one yarn over place a marker on this knit one stitch Continue with 14 stitches, 14 knit stitches, yarn over again, knit one, yarn over, place the marker in this knit one stitch, continue with 12 knit stitches, 12 knit stitches, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, place the stitch marker and remember that we have to purl the last stitch of the row. Here you can see the four corners of the ramblan. Now we are on the wrong side. We have to take the edge stitch and where we find a yarn over, we have to purl the yarn over but taking the back loop from the back to the front, like this, purl the next stitch, we find another yarn over, we have to repeat the same in all the yarn overs, we have to purl the yarn over from the back to the front, purl all the stitches to the next yarn over, On the yarn over we have to purl from the back to the front 
and repeat the same to the end of the row. Purl all stitches, but when we find a yarn over, we have to purl from the back to the front. Here you can see now that we are making the stacking at the stitch and we are in the right side. We are going to make the increases only in the right sides. We have to now take the edge stitch, yarn over, we have to make one increase after the first stitch and on the very last stitch before the last stitch to make the shape of the front of the kaimono. Let's start this row. We have to take the edge stitch, yarn over to make the first increase, knit to the first stitch marker of the ranglan. In this case we only have to knit one stitch, so knit one. Yarn over before the stitch of the ranglan, yarn over, knit the stitch of the ranglan, yarn over again, and knit to find the other, the other stitch of the ranglan. Once we are at the next stitch marker of the ranglan, we have to yarn over again, knit one, yarn over again, and continue working the knit a stitch to the next stitch of the ranglan, to the next stitch marker. We are again at the marker stitch, we have to yarn over before the marker stitch, knit one, knit the marker stitch, yarn over again and knit to the next stitch marker. We are again on the stitch marker, so yarn over before, knit the, the stitch of the ranglan, yarn over again and in this case we are at the end of the row where we have to knit one and as we explained before, we are just before of the last stitch where we have to make a yarn over to make the increase and purl the last stitch. And we finished one row of increases. On the next row in the wrong side, we have to repeat the same that we made on the last row of the wrong side. We have to take the edge stitch, purl the yarn over taking the back loop from the back to the front we have to purl the yarn over from the back to the front, purl all the stitches to the next yarn over, we have to purl from the back to the front the next yarn over, purl the next stitches and repeat the same in all yarn overs. I am going to show you again how to make the row in the right side. We have, we have to take the edge stitch, make the first increase, making a yarn over, knit all the stitches to the marker stitch, to the ranglan stitch that we have a marker, where we have a marker, Yarn over before the ranglan stitch, knit the ranglan stitch, yarn over again, work the knit the stitch to the next stitch marker, to the next, ra to the next ranglan stitch. How can you see which is the stitch of the ranglan? Here you can see the marker stitch, the stitch marker. You can see here all these stitches are straight and appears on the sides to one side and to the other side some stitches so the straight stitch is the ranglan stitch so we have to knit all the stitches to the ranglan stitch we have to yarn over knit the, the ranglan stitch yarn over again 
and continue making knit stitch to the next Ranglon stitch. And we repeat the same on the four markers. We just made the last marker stitch and we have to knit all the stitches to one stitch before the end where we have to make one yarn over and purl the last stitch. And the rowing the wrong side we have to repeat the same that we made before. We have to purl all the stitches and the yarn overs we have to purl from the back to the front. We are going to continue making the same to half 20 rows, 20 rows making the increases on the Ranglan stitches and on the front parts. We can now remove the markers. Now we can see the shape of the front part of the kimono. And now we are going to separate the sleeves of the body. We start on the front, in one front part, we have to take the edge stitch. We are going to continue making only the increases of the beginning and of the end of each row. Now we have to make a yarn over and knit to the second ranglan. So knit to the second stitch of the ranglan. This is the first. So work the knit stitch to the second ranglan. In this case we are not going to make more increases, only at the beginning and at the end of the row. Here you can see the front part, one sleeve, and now we are arriving at the, at the second ranglan, at the second ranglan. We have to knit to the second ranglan and turn, and we are going to make an edge of garter stitch like we made at the beginning so we have to turn and we are going to work one row with the knit stitch we have to take the edge stitch and work the knit stitch to the first ramblan that is the part of the sleeve We are again at the ranglan, so we have to turn and make another row with knit stitch to the other ranglan, only working now the part of the sleeve. Here you can see the separation of the sleeve and the part of the body. Turn again and we are going to work again one row with knit stitch. One row with knit stitch working only the sleeves. Once we finish the last row of with knit stitch, here you can see the front part, the sleeve, the front part and the back part. And now we are going to bind off all the stitches of the sleeve. Remember how to bind off. We have to take the edge stitch, knit one and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Repeat the same, knit one and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Need one again and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. We are going to bind off all the stitches of the sleeve. If 
has to look like that. Here we have the sleeve, here the front part, and now we are going to continue working the back part. We have to place the, the yarn again on the back part, on the first stitch of the back part, and continue working the knit stitch to the next, to the end of the next sleeve, that is the second wrangland that we find. We have to work the knit stitch to the, to the end of the next sleeve, This is the back part. The first wrangland that we find is the beginning of the sleeve, so we have to continue with knit a stitch to the second wrangland that is the end of the sleeve. Once we arrive at the end of the second wrangland, we have to turn and work one row of knit a stitch to the next wrangland, only the part of the sleeve. And we have to repeat the same that we made on the other sleeve, in this sleeve, knit the rows and bind off the stitches. Once we finish the second sleeve, we have to continue now with the next front part. We have to take the yarn and work the knit a stitch to one stitch before the end. Where we make the other increase, remember that we have to make the increase at the beginning and, and at the end. And now we are going to continue working only the part of the body, the two front part and the back part. In this row, in this row, in this case, in the wrong side, we have to join the two front parts with the back part. We have to take the edge stitch, remember to work the yarn over from the back to the front. Purl all the stitches to the to the end of this front part. Continue with purl stitch to in the back part. Try to press the stitches of the end of the front part and the back part to avoid holes. And continue working the purl stitch to the end. On the next 26 rows we are going to continue making the same increases at the beginning and at the end, only on the rows in the right side, 26 rows making increases only at the end and at the beginning of the row. So in this case we have to take the edge stitch, yarn over, work the knit stitch to one stitch before the end. yarn over again and purl the last stitch. And the row on the wrong side we have to take the edge stitch, purl the yarn over from the back to the front. Purl all the stitches to the last yarn over, purl the yarn over from the back to the front and purl the last stitch. 
continue making the same to have 26 rows. Once we made the 26 rows, we arrived here. Now, now we are going to stop making increases. I'm going to show you how to make the buttonholes and the edge. On the next 20 rows, we have to work the stacking at the stitch. Remember, now we are not going to make increases. Only take the edge stitch, knit the row on the right side. Remember, purl the last stitch. And on the wrong side, we have to take the edge stitch, purl all the stitches in the middle and purl also the last stitch. In this case, we are going to make the button holes on the row 2 and on the row 17 of the 20 rows that I say. We are going to make button holes on the two sides of the kimono. To make the button holes, we have to work the two first stitches. In this case, I am on the wrong side, so we have to take the edge stitch, purl one, work the two following stitches together so the stitch number three and the stitch number four we have to work those stitches together in this case I have to purl two together and yarn over and continue working the the stitch in this case the purl stitch to four stitches before the end of the row Once we are at the end of the row, four stitches before the end, we have to yarn over, work the two following stitches together, in this case we have to purl two, and work the two last stitches, in this case we have to purl two. We turn and on the following row we have to work all the stitches normally. In this case I have to knit, so we have to knit all the stitches, also the yarn over, to make the buttonhole. And continue making. Remember the 20 rows, without increases, making the buttonholes. Once we finish the 20 rows, we have to make 4 rows with knit stitch to make the edge of garter stitch. 4 rows working the knit stitch and we can bind off all the stitches. We have to take a needle and close the sleeves with the needle. We have to close the sleeves, the bottom part of the sleeves with the needle. And we finish the kimono, we only have to to sew the buttons and cut the yarn and we finished the kimono